okay? So let me illustrate this uh, uh, idea of the partial derivative equal to zero uh, with the simplest multivariate case. That's when we have two variates, right? Two variables. We have S1 and S2. And in order to visualize the function j on this two-dimensional plane, we have to start drawing uh, contours okay, of this uh, uh, quadratic. So uh, let me just uh, uh, go to MATLAB and uh, draw you a simple contour. Okay. So uh, basically, for a quadratic, the contour would look something like this, as we are going to see in a in a few minutes in MATLAB. So it, it, the for quadratic, the contour is going to look like a concentric ellipses. Okay, it the exact nature of the ellipse depends on the quadratic depends on the matrix uh, in the quadratic term. And uh, what I want to point out is that at the center of all these ellipses, the objective function j achieves either its maximum or minimum. And at the center, when you are standing at the center, so consider the contours as, a, uh, as the real contours of a three-dimensional terrain, right? Depending on uh, the matrix A, the center would either be the top of a elliptic hill or the bottom of a elliptic uh, uh, bowl right so when you are at the top of the bottom no matter which direction you walk towards the value of the objective function would vary very little right so it will change very little it's basically flat no matter which direction you look at at exactly the top so this is really the first order optimality condition okay uh, Right, so, so if you look at uh, this first order optimality condition and uh, uh, evaluate the derivative on this quadratic, what you're gonna find out is that uh, the constant term has zero derivative. The linear term has a derivative equal to B transpose. All right, so basically it's a linear, so derivative is a constant. And the quadratic term has a derivative of two times S transpose times A. So it is this linear combination of a constant term that derives from the derivative of the linear term in the quadratic and the, another linear term that derives from the derivative of the quadratic term, that is gonna be equal to zero. And if you allow me to transpose the whole thing, right, the transpose of zero is zero, it's, a, it's another zero vector, uh, transpose of the zero vector, uh, what you get is you have B, right? Transpose, transpose is B. And then when you transpose the product of a vector and a matrix, you make the transpose, you, you put the transpose on the matrix and the vector, and you have to switch the order of the multiplication. So the two is a constant, uh, it can move around in the multiplication, but uh, you have to keep the uh, you have to reverse the order of the matrix. So A transpose times S transpose transpose, which is S equal to zero. So solving this linear system would give you A equal to two A transpose inverse times B. I have a negative sign over here. Now remember that A is a symmetric matrix, which means A transpose is equal to A. That means I can safely erase the transpose over here without changing the solution, right? Okay, so that's usually how we solve a quadratic optimization problem. So let me just give you a few uh, a few examples. So let me just take a, a, a pretty random uh, matrix A. So rent two is gonna give me a random two by two matrix. And let me make it symmetric. 
by say a equal a plus a transpose, right? So that's gonna that uh, has given me a pretty random symmetric matrix. All right. So let me say S one uh, is equal to link space from zero, uh, actually from minus two to let's take a uh, hundred uh, points, and let S two to be the same, and S one. S2 is equal to uh, is mesh grid, uh, mesh grid of S1 and S2. All right, so what do we get? We get 100 by 100 uh, being S1 and another 100 by 100 equal to S2, right? So that gives us the whole uh, space of minus 2 to 2, but uh, S1 varies in one direction and S2 varies in the other direction. Okay. All right. So basically, what we want to do is uh, we want to compute the uh, the contour, right, of uh, the quadratic. So for this, we also have to have a b. Okay, b that's rand uh, one two. So that's going to be. A, actually, let, let's do rent to one. So, so that's going to give us a column vector. All right. And C is going to equal to rent. So that's going to give us the constant term. So let's draw a contour of this. Let's first uh, say J is equal to zero, uh, 100. That's going to give us uh, a space to fill our objective functions. And let's for equal I from one to 100. J is equal to one to a hundred. J i j is going to be equal to. Okay, so we have the C plus B B transpose times the vector of S one i j S two i j. Okay, plus uh, the same vector. So let me actually just uh, say. S is equal to S1 ij, S2 ij. And my j of ij is going to be equal to C plus E transpose times S plus S transpose times A times S. All right. And let's contour uh, with a fill x. Uh, S1, S2, and J. All 